like uh, your CD is starting with 1001, mm -hmm. and uh, that extension will be configured over a soft phone or SIP supporting phone, either iBeam, Zoeper, or Xlight. Every agent need to install this software and configure that extension. And along with, we will give you agent console. Hello. Yes, we're listening. Yeah. Yeah. Every agent will be given an agent console along with the agent extension. First, login in the extension number, and after that, agent need to login on the agent console with a username and password. Once they log in, this then they need to click on agent cons console. Okay. And after that, agent need to click on enter. It will ask you the password, and that is double nine, double nine. You need to enter the password that is double nine double nine with the pound sign. And so let me try once again. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Yes, we are here. Yeah, sorry for this inconvenience. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, what can they need to do? He need to first log in an agent console. After that, he need to click on agent console. After that, he or she need to select the extension number. I I just show you once again. Yeah, and just select your extension agent number. Whatever be the assign will be assigned to you. After that, your extension number. Extension number will be that you have configured over this soft phone. Like my extension number is one thousand one. Now, after selecting this, need to click on enter. Then it will ask you the password that is double nine double nine with pound sign. I'm now entering. After the agent logged in, yeah, now will be agent will be logged in agent console. And uh, whenever the call will hit on agent console, uh, he will get the ring first. Once he answer the call. He will he or she will see the customer details that is being uploaded in the campaign, in whatever whatever is name, number, and all details. And uh, after we have one more option that is form. Form we will use for dispose the call. After selecting the options, uh, I do one thing. I just show you with the live call. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to start a campaign. Dialing the call selects from the call from the agent console. Yeah, now call has been come in agent console. You will listen a beep sound whenever you will receive the call or you will get a ring sound. Hello. Hello. Hey, yeah, we are listening to you. Yeah, the uh, agent will see all the details like this. It means call connected and the details you have uploaded in the campaign. And there are other options. Have uh, call transfer feature. Are you call? Hello. In call transfer, uh, you can transfer the calls from here to your extension number or any mobile number or landline number you want to transfer. And we have other option that is call scheduling. 
we can schedule the call at the end of the campaign or we can select any timing and along with we have the option that call this call should be connected to the same agent or we, if you not select the same agent then call will come on the queue and it will select the available agent and uh, using this form we have option to uh, hang up the call or like i'm selecting this not interested i just select this hang up and i just save the call this i just i'm now and dispose the call my data is saved and and if you want to disconnect the call and then from here agent can disconnect this call yeah now call is over from the agent part Hello. Hello. Yeah, we all here. We all here. Listening to you. All are on mute. There's a reason they are not replying. Otherwise, we all are here. Okay. Yeah. Whenever, as I told you, whenever the call will hit, it will uh, you will get a ring or you will get a deep sound. And after that, if you see the agent console, uh, it will show you the, all the details that is that is being uploaded in the campaign. the form to use to discuss the call yeah. and from here from here t from here agent can go on different type of breaks like just create a i'm going this lunch break once i go on lunch break i will not get any call and it will show you the timing is how long i am on break when the lunch ka lunch break na the Tinuturo lang ko paano pag nag lunch break daw wala daw tatawag sa iyo makakatawa sa iyo guys you're interrupting uh, oh, put yourself on mute when you are speaking to each other please okay chitan carry on please i'm so sorry yeah, yeah. from here you can end your break now look now your break is end and uh, from as i told you schedule call uh, you can schedule the call uh, at the end of the campaign or at the particular date on timing and you can select the same agent means call will hit on the same agent otherwise if you not select then the call will come on the queue and it will go to the available agent to hang up the call means if you want to hang up the call just click on hang up and uh, if you want to log out from the session just end the session okay session ending is uh, so mean how uh, if i end end the session means you will not be part of the uh, you now you are not logged in in the campaign hello okay yeah. and the session, session means like uh, you are logged out from your campaign sure ko pwede nga okay logged out from the campaign yes correct minaram ko nila sao guys please put your phone on for the mute right i hope you can <laughs> it's okay the training let me one second okay the password you need password everybody needs to enter is 9999 with the pound sign 9999 pound sign okay yeah if you want to do a conference call you we can use this option from uh, the software software we will provide and from software you can also uh, transfer the call as well and you can also conf- do the conference from this software as well transferring option we have two options either from this software or either we can do from this agent console whatever the option you want to use you can use and uh, uh, for the agent part we have other options like if you want to add some notes you can uh, this is only for the agent if you want to or she want to add some notes you can add like i need to call somebody at, at particular time anything that you want to add you can just create a note for that and apart, apart from this there is the one more option that is calendar where we can see this option the okay, note once we save this uh, once we you will save like this i say Yeah, you can save it. Actually, this is only for the agent, not for the admin part. 
Yes, like, of course, it's for the agent. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm asking yeah, the questions on behalf of agents only. Sorry, come. Yeah, you can see this click on over here. Sorry, sorry. How can I remove this? Yeah, over here is the option. Just click over here. It will load your notes. And apart from this, we have the event. Means the event is something like you have to call somebody. If you want that, I need to create an event so that at the same time I will I get the reminder for that. You can create the event. You can add the event name and the description, and you can give the timing. Like you can give the timing like, and the, along with the time, date and time, end time and end time, start and end time. And there is an option. Either you can get the reminder through the call, or you can add add an email reminder. If you add an email, then whatever the email associated with this account. You will get the email alert. Otherwise, you can also add the phone reminder. Means it will ring on your extension, agent extension. Like you need to call this person. Whatever the details you will enter, it will speak out on agent agent uh, extension or software. And this is all for the agent. Whatever the event you will schedule, it will show this under this calendar. Anything else you want to know, or you have any query? Agents, if you have any questions, you can uh, unmute yourself, ask the question. No, sir. You all are clear as how to log in. Yeah. Um. I do one thing. I just go once all. The, do all the process once again. I think it will be clear. When yes, please. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to log out. As I told, every agent would have a every agent would have a software that is installed on their PCs along with the extension number. And the same extension number you will use in agent console, and agent will give you a login like this. My agent one thousand one, and this is my password. I will log in. Once I log in, means whenever you will log in, it will pop up your note. And once, uh, just what agent need to do? Just under the call center, and click on agent console. Select the agent, num my extension number. Like my extension number is one thousand one that I have configured on my software. I will click select, and I will select my extension number. Whatever you know, my extension number, I will enter. Yeah, now I logged in in agent console. It will ask one time whenever you will log in. Once you log in, uh, whenever the system, if your dialer is active, if the call is connecting with the customers, then you you will you will get the call. In information section, it will give you the customer details, its name, number, and other details. Form you will use to dispose or take some extra details from the customer. Once you take the details, just click on save. Your data will be saved, and uh, for the agent, other option as I told, hang up means he can hang up the call from here. He, he or she can go on break, whatever the break that is created for you. Just take break, and uh, trans. He can or she or she can transfer the call from here, either on extension or any number. As I told, a schedule call from here, agent can get schedule any call. Through the save data, he can save the details <coughs> that he has taken through the form. Okay, one and question I have, uh, Chetan. Yes. If yes. they do not uh, save the data, the data will not be saved, right? Whatever they yeah. type in. Yeah, it will not be saved. Okay, so it's very important that when they dispose the call, they make proper documentations and they save. Otherwise, it will be lost. Or is yes. it? Is it? We, we can we do it this way that if they don't save the data, the call will not get disposed? No, it will not be disposed. You have to solve. Can we do? Uh, yeah, need to do manually means whatever it is. Isn't it taking through form? They have must have to click on save data. And there, okay. there, yeah, there would be a wrap up time. We will assign some time. After ten seconds, they will have mm -hmm. a time. 
like there would be a wrap up time means i'm getting mm. the calls next call i will get let's mm. say i say i have a wrap up time of 10 second mm. i'm attending the call then next call i will attend after 15 15 10 second mm. so that agent would have a time to save the details okay okay because, because what happens is when they are on a call and they are in a hurry most of the agents are new <clears throat> so when they are in a hurry when the next call comes in they might uh, you know dispose the call and go to the next call and we might lose the data so for that we uh, we can do we have two options as like uh, we have two options either uh, we can increase the wrap up time means uh, in the 15 second or 20 second whatever we the mm -hmm. table time or we have okay. one more option like we can create a one more uh, break where means uh, mm -hmm. whatever name we want to give we just Okay. Go on that break and meanwhile we can save the details. Okay. Do we have a pause system here? Uh, pause. Yeah. Uh, pause system is through the only through the break. Break. Okay. That's very uh, trouble. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. To log out, just from the campaign, just and click on end session. And, okay. Uh, I told two things. One more is a note. For the agent, for for, and after mm. second is the uh, calendar for any kind of event. Okay. I would request all of you to ask questions now. If you have any questions, please ask now. No, <coughs> sir. I'm sorry. We just arrived earlier, okay, and we haven't we haven't heard the first part of the. Okay, the first part is from the time you log into the uh, under call center, you go to console and log in from there. That is the one that we have started from. <clears throat> nothing, uh, nothing before that. <clears throat> uh, should we, should we type something no, no to arrive to. in? This? Yeah, uh, no need. Uh, after logging in the agent console, you just need to click on agent console, and uh, let me log out once again. I I'm going to end the session. Yeah, once you log in in the agent panel, uh, just go under call center agent console, and after that, you, we will assign. There will be extension number and agent number and extension number to assign to you. You need to just select that extension number, and uh, once you select, just click on enter. It will ask okay. you the. Yeah, it will ask you the password. The password is double nine double nine with a pound sign. And that you need to type on the soft phone. Yes, that you need to type on the soft phone. Once you enter, yeah. click on. You will be entered in the campaign, and uh, and you will get start getting the calls. Once you will get the calls, you will see some details of the customer details that being uploaded. <laughs> form you will use to dispose the call and apart from this there is an option uh, for agent can go on break whatever the break is being created for you and from here you can transfer the call on extension number on any number and after that there is a schedule the call your agent can uh, agent can schedule any call at the end of the campaign or whatever the preferred time you want the save data is to dispose of dispose of the <coughs> so uh question sir so right now uh this page that's showing to us this is already on call but there's no queue yet okay so, uh, do a live call uh, chitan uh, you know if you can do a yeah. live call sure, yeah. sure, let me do that
Now we don't see your screen. Hello. Yeah, we don't see the screen. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, Chetan, uh, the screen is not visible. Now, now visible? Yes, now visible. Yeah, it will be uh, for the agent, it will show the details like this. Means information. Yes. This is all the details that is being uploaded in the campaign, the city, and whatever the details. And uh, here is an option to dispose the call. Like there are two, only two dispositions. You can, uh, no one interested, or like, click yes. on save data. Yes. Yes, we will add more to this. Uh, to the, the call status, we'll put more options to that. Yeah. Yes. From here, your agent can transfer the calls. Either on the agent, like I want to transfer the call agent number one thousand five. Yes, I will select that. It will transfer the call. Okay. Now, now uh, the the select extension uh, to transfer. What is that? That they, they will put their uh, they will put their IDs extension IDs. Yeah, extension ID. Let's. Uh, my extension is one thousand one, and I want to transfer the call on one thousand five agent number. Okay. I will select but that. I will click on attendant transfer. Okay. Uh, there is a different different in difference in tra just a minute. Let me disconnect this call. Just a minute. Okay, because um, the now the, it will be a number. There will be an American number, U.S. Num uh, sorry, Canadian number that they will transfer the call to. So. Uh, they will have for, to type the number here. Yeah, they either they can type here or we can create a, a sort sort codes. Yes, sort codes. Yes. Yeah, for the sort codes, they can transfer directly from here. Like no, sort codes, like an so, sort yeah. codes, like an phone number. Say, for example, I need to transfer to a one two three four five six uh, phone number. So they will type the uh, phone number in place of one zero zero five, or they will have to uh, punch it in the soft phone. No, no, no. They don't need. What they need to do, like uh, on one one one, you have set up one number. Okay. Just okay, let me uh, first stop the campaign. Okay. Yeah, from the software they can do. We will provide you some uh, short codes like start two. Mm hmm. Then they need to like uh, one one. We will set up uh, one number where you want to transfer mm -hmm. the call. One two, mm -hmm. second number, one three, third number, like this. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted. Yes. There are four numbers that needs to be configured. Or I am by yes. to a tab. Yes. 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 You need to. Uh, that will be done at the back end. Okay. You will need to provide us. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, now things is clear. Uh, we are clear with the how we can go and break. How can we can transfer the call? Either from, I think we will do from the software using the short codes. And, uh, option: How can we can schedule the calls? And how can we can uh, how we can do hang up the call or dispose the call? Okay. A question. Yes. Yes, please. Um, how do we call customer back? How do we dial their number? Yes, uh, you can use the software to dial number manually. The soft phone? Yes, yeah, soft phone. Do we click on the yeah, line two button? Yeah, yeah, not line two or you can, uh, yeah, you can either use line two. Just dial, simply dial the number. Like I need to dial, like this, you can dial the number. Okay, but but the information of the customer would would that be auto populate on the dialer or no? It, it it will not. No, not at not at all. Okay, now say uh, Chetan, if they want to the, the question, I'll re rephrase the question. Uh, say for example, he wants to dial. Uh, you know, uh, can you scroll down a little bit on this head information? Uh, scroll up, yeah. Sorry, up. Scroll. Yeah, I want to see the name of the customer. Yes, that is Rick. Now, say for example, it is not Rick, it's somebody else, and they want to manually make a call, but they don't have the customer details. 
uh, if they punch in the phone number somewhere, the details will pop up automatically, uh, manually, no, no. Uh, when they are not in call or they are in pause or they are in break. No, no, sir, it will not. So they will have to maintain uh, the numbers themselves. Yeah, they have to. For that, okay, we so have the option of note. That's it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, question. Please, yeah. So, uh, if we're gonna call back using that so so phone, then how we can transfer it to the closer? You can transfer the soft phone itself. Yeah. On itself. Yeah. And then they can still track our number that that the agent is the one that transferred that call. Yes, right. It will be disposed under that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and our call will, will be recorded automatically or the call yeah, uh, will not it, be recorded? Yeah, it will be recorded. Okay. It's still recorded. Okay. Okay, and it will be there in the dialogue report as well that this call was made from this agent? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, question, sir. Yeah. Um, whenever, I mean, the only Any? time that we're going to use the cell phone is when we are going to call back, right? Or manual dial? Yes, yeah, not um, for manual dial, dialing. Okay. You'll be on an auto dialer where the calls will automatically come, and uh, uh, when the call comes, your soft phone will ring. Right, and and they accept the phone. How they accept the phone? They go and click the soft phone. Yeah, they can go and click the soft phone. Automatically, it will not be received, right? Yeah, uh, it automatically it will not be received. Okay, so whenever a call comes, you need to go there and click the green phone, green side of the phone. And when you need to transfer the call, if you're receiving a call in line one, then if you are transferring the call, you need to choose line two and dial the number and then uh, transfer, right? Conference, right? Yeah, uh, you can use line one as well. Okay, no, line one, say for example, line one, we, have, we are already on a call. Now, if we need to connect the customer to someone else, how do we yeah. do that? Do we, yeah. do we take line two and dial the number? No, uh, there is two situations where first is when you want to tra only transfer the call, then you can use the line uh, line one only. Just dial the soft short codes we will provide you. Right. And when you want to conference the call, in that case you would be needed. Right. You because would need second have, line. Okay. There, because there might be a situation where they might have to call back manually a few numbers. So for example, somebody has given a different time, so dispose the call and they need to call back. Say uh, now it is somewhere around. Uh, um, what time now? It's, uh, oh my. Okay, it's, it's uh, around 3.15, so they need to call back around 4, 4 o'clock. So the system does not have the system, you know, uh, how, how, do we, how do they go ahead and uh, reschedule a call? You have shown that uh, already, but if, if, any, uh, if you can once again come back, uh, you are rescheduling the call, okay? Now, uh, the call, if they select, uh, you know, the call to come to the same agent, it will come to the same agent. But if somebody says, no, I want to call them back manually, then they will have to go ahead and uh, take out the soft phone. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, they'll, they'll, they'll dial uh, the customer in line one. Yes. Okay. And now, now they need to conference the call with the sales closer. Okay, to the closer. So they will take line two to dial the closer's number, the the, the number which or they, uh, they put the tag, the number you said. Yes, sir. How do they do that? So, uh, for conference the call, they need to uh, use the second line. Otherwise, second line. when they are transferring the call, just dial the use the second line one. Second line, and the and the number configured is to be punched in. Yes. Line sir. one. Okay. There's hash. Say for example, hash one or hash one two, hash one three. That's all right. Yes, I like this. Okay, okay, okay. And they conference the call. The call goes and when they conference the call and they come out of the call, how they they do, they transfer the call, right? Yeah, they will transfer the call. They will transfer the call and they will come out of the call. They will get the next call. Yes, sir. All right. And when they are manually calling back, they will have to put a break on their uh, CRM dialer. Yeah, yeah, they have to break up, put a break. Okay. On okay. Okay. So, Sir, any more doubts? Yeah, where we can see the lib three way, in case that we transfer the call, where we can see that is that on the cell phone or on the dialer? You will not see uh, after transferring the. You want that after transferring the call, you want to see the call. You want to see or what? 
Yeah, well, when we are transferring the call, so we just need to enter the number and then if we are ready to call, just hit the transfer. Yes. That's all what we need to do. Yes, that's all you need to do. And then uh, how are we going to save the data? Do we need to save the data first and then hang up? Yeah, first you need to save the data, then hang up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now the thing is, um, say for example, though, uh, uh, we have uh, Rick and the information. Okay, now we have, we, ha we have made a manual call to Mark. Okay. Now, how do we update the data here? Because if we have made a sale, we'll have to go and document that in the notes section that, okay, Mark has been manually called and, uh, you know, uh, it's a sale. We go to the call status, we uh, click as a sale or transfer. Right, and then yes. we, and we come out of the call. Now, if we are doing manually, how do we save the information here in this CRM? Yes. So that uh, you can't save. Uh, for that, you can either use notes. Uh, for that, oh, that will be a that will be a problem. That will be a problem. That way. All right. <clears throat> All right. All right. Okay. 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 Any more questions anybody has? Um, one more thing, sir. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. when we receive a call, and then let's say it's a voicemail, do we need to put a note as well, or just wait for ten you will, seconds? You will not get the voicemail calls. You will only get get the call when the, that is being answered by someone. You will not get any oh. voicemail. Okay, thank you. And uh, <clears throat> Chitan, because end of the day, we'll need how many numbers are being voicemail numbers. So we'll give the dialogue report. Yeah, you will get that. You can also uh, get that will, from the CDR itself. Yeah, that will that will have uh, it mentioned that it was an answering machine, right? Yeah, through so the CDR, you can get all these reports. No, no, right. Uh, a a dialogue report. When I say, say, for example, they they have called thousand numbers today, so the call has been disposed with call status. Okay, yes. say if some are sales, some are non sales, some are, uh, some are uh, not interested. Now, these dialer report when, when we police, not, uh, you know, something not related to agent's ID, I'm uh, asking a separate question altogether. Now, <clears throat> now uh, when we uh, download the dialer report, it will have all the uh, disposition codes. Yeah, it will have. Yeah. Now, uh, because we would need uh, to know how many numbers were answering machines. So as because the system will all automatically dispose, uh, you know, uh, I believe it will be AMD that will be activating uh, automatic yes. answering machine detection. Yeah. Yes. yes. So uh, so when when we download the entire uh, report of the entire data that we have uploaded, how do we identify that, uh, you know, those numbers were AMD numbers? Because we need the data of the, those numbers as well. Yeah, uh, in report, you will have the option means call status. Call status, right. It, uh, because this will not come, no, no, because it will not come to the agents, the agents will not be able to dispose it as a voicemail. It will automatically, you can get from the seat uh, report. Okay, it is, the, the okay. Report. okay, so we'll get the report that these were the numbers which were on answering machines and which did not land up to the agents, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. That's what I want to know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so any more questions from anyone? Vikas, if you have any questions, please. Vikas, you there? Um, for the iBeam, do we need to set up the, the iBeam? I believe we need to configure it first. Yes, yeah, you will have to. I'm sorry. So who, uh, who is the one that's going to configure it? Yeah, it could be iBeam. It, is when I was, um, swing. it could be Zoeba or it could be XLite. Either you can use. Yeah, you need to configure your extension. We'll, we'll, uh, can, can you show that uh, here in the settings? So that I, when I give them the details, they can put it themselves. Sure, sir. Uh, just, you click on, yeah. on top, you will get SIP count settings. And uh, you, from here, let's see, I added this 1001. You can see I added display name. You can add your whatever the display name you want. I now I added as 1001. Username would be your extension number. And the password we will provide you. Extension. Uh, Authorization username will be your extension number and the domain name. Domain name will be, would be this one. Yeah, we'll give that to them. The link from where they log in. Okay. After that, this, 
click out send outbound via domain only this thing you need to do just enter your display name username password username domain name and send via domain only just click on apply and okay and once you do it will show you the account is ready let's see now i log out let's okay great Yeah, and the uh, yeah. Sure, right? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, is it also the same with Zoiper? No, it's uh, uh, quite um, different from IBM. Zoiper actually right now I don't have. Uh, let me show you. Uh, by the way, sir, what version of Zoiper do we download? That is five. Five. Okay. I saw you. Either either you can fire download latest one or you can use also use the old one. And this is with the old one. Okay. Do we need uh, IBM license? So IBM license you may uh, you would be needed if you want to use some extra features. Okay. No, the one which you have shown only that if you want. Then do we need uh, yeah, actually, licenses? Is, uh, yeah. Uh, in that there are two things, uh, two uh, two types. One is unpaid or paid. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm showing you this is a paid account that has multiple options like lines. Mm -hmm. It's a paid account, so there's a multiple line, but in mm -hmm. three account there would be one or two line. Mm -hmm. Along with all the options will be available, but with limited option, limit limitation. Okay. okay, because what I see, if you don't put the license key, they will not even uh, let you uh, con uh, no configure you. Yes, yes, I mean, they, they, yes. They will not. First, they will. Yeah, they will. But do you first, have this? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, we do have. Uh, for the paid version, first you need to enter the license key. Then we will let it allow to configure the extension. Mm -hmm. So it is not with it. Okay, fine. We'll ask the question later on. Okay, fine. Okay, so you have uh, any more questions? Uh, you know you have. <clears throat> Do you have any more questions? Yeah, um, Team, regarding have? the transfer, I kind of like did not follow. Oh. If you transfer the call, will you click the line two for that one? For uh, line two, you will only use when you are doing a conference call. Uh, when you are ah, okay. transferring, ah, the call. okay, so transfer, okay. You would have to conference a call, yeah. You would have to conference a call. Conference the call first, then yeah, then, then transfer. Yeah. Conference the okay. call with the rich specialist and then transfer the call. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, one more thing. Is it possible for us to see a live um, screen if there's someone is uh, talking? Uh, uh, admin part means agent don't doesn't have this permission. Only admin mm. can see all that activities. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sir, can you show us again, like the agent console? Uh, you show that there is the word transfer there, right? Is there any option under the transfer tab? Yeah, as I told you, either agent can do transfer from the software or through this transfer option on agent console. Uh, okay, so you can do either the soft phone or the console, right? Yes. Okay, okay. The interval of the calls, uh, how many seconds again? What do you come again? Each call, uh, how many seconds for each uh, interval after you hang up the hang up the call? It's a, uh, it's a uh, need. You will need to tell. I mean, uh, your admin will tell what timing we can set up. This will be done from the backend part, and you need to let uh, let us know after how much time you will want to get the next call after finishing the call. 
Hello. Okay. In, uh, in case if you want, it is taking more time to save the details and all. Agent would have the option they can uh, put themselves on break. So that meanwhile they can save all the details. For the agent, it seems that it, they are not going to complete. They are not going to save the details in a 10 second trap of time. In that case, they can go on break. I'm now I'm going on break, and meanwhile they can save the details. Well, I'll add an option in the, in the in the break section as pause. So whenever you are supposed to go ahead and uh, you know um, uh, uh, for documentation purpose, if you're taking a break, always select pause. I'll add a button, uh, you know, option to that as pause. As because we do not have pause here, we'll put in the break section. All right, uh, Chetan? Yes, sir. Okay. So that we can identify the breaks. Okay. So any more questions? Vikas, you there? Okay, Vikas is not there. Vikas. Vikas, Vikas, yes, he's there. He's not Vikas, you have any questions? Vikas? I think he's not uh, he's, he is. Yeah. No sound. Okay, Vikas, we cannot hear you. You can type the message then. Or uh, you can log out and log in. I mean, you can move out of it. You can leave and log in again. Vikas. I'm unmuting him. Unmute. No, it's not happening. I'm not able to unmute him. Wow, that's very strange. Oh my God. Oh, I'm not able to unmute anyone. That's why you do. Strange. Sir, excuse me. Yes. Uh, sir, when we schedule a call, uh, this is like for the call back, right? When we schedule the call. Um. It will be like when we schedule this, like for example, an hour from now or maybe tomorrow for the callback. Uh, is it automatic that we will have to, or the you know the consumer contact that um, customer, or will be the one to manually dial that, sir? Sorry, can you come again? Uh, like we when we schedule a call, a callback. Like for example, uh, tomorrow we'll schedule a call back tomorrow for the customer. Then, uh, is it like automatic that the consumer will remind yeah. us and give us the info, or do we have to manually type? No, like the system will uh, automatically dial that, that number mm -hmm. and will let you know this is a scheduled call. Ah, uh, okay. But but we're not the one who will take the call, or will be the one to take the call. It's uh, depend. It will ask you. It means you want to connect the call to the same agent, or you want the call to the any available agent. Ah, uh, okay. I okay. So that is when you before disposing the call. Before when you set up a call back, <coughs> you'll you'll be uh, you'll be given an option. You wherein the call will land up to the same agent. So you need to click that. And then I believe it will be coming to you only. Mm, okay. Okay, sir. So is it okay, sir, if we like example we um we put the you know like we save the data for the car uh, for the customer, uh like we you know like we save information. Is it okay, like after the call, we do the take break option? Then, then we type in and then we go back in again. Yes, uh, actually, there would be wrap up time. In wrap up time, if, if you are not able to add all the details, in that case, you would need to go on break. Uh, if you are able to do within a wrap up time, then you need to go on break. That's how many minutes, sir? Sorry. That is the admin part. Your admin will tell you what time you, how much time you want to 
set up as a wrap up time. Like if I we set thirty second, then for the thirty second you will not get any call. The sixty second you will not get any call, and meanwhile you can save all the details. Oh, okay. Here, yeah, it, it is taking more than thirty second or more than sixty second. In that case, you would need to go and break mm. a pause. Okay. Okay. Anything? Anyone have the, any query? All right. So we don't have any more questions. Uh, as and when you start dialing, you may face few problems. I'll be there to assist you. And uh, by my side, we also have for initial stages. We'll have Chetan and uh, you know Chetan also. <coughs> Chetan Amit also. Whenever there is an issue. Fine then. Uh, that's that's it. All right. So, um, sir, if somebody have some problem with their dialer, uh, we can always uh, contact. Uh, yes, see, I'll, I'll, yes, I'll be there. You can contact me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, respective POCs will uh, get back to me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Sir, send me, yes. Uh, send me end this. Yes, we, we are done, I believe. And, uh, there's no more questions. If you have any questions, please ask. Do not hesitate. Okay. I do one so, thing. I just wrap up all these things. I let. Uh, I think it will finally. I'm going to wrap up. Means uh, for the agent, uh, there would be two things. One will be the agent, agent extension number, and the agent console. First agent need to uh, log in on an agent panel with his credential. Once he log in, he will click on call center agent console. Let me add this. Mm -hmm. He will select or she will select his extension number and extension. Once he will enter, he will get a call. He need to enter the password that is double nine double nine with the pound sign. Once he will enter, he will re log in the agent console. Is it the same password sir for Zoiper? Sorry. It would be different. Ah oh, okay. Uh, can you give us like details sir for the Zoiper? Please, thank you. Once you, after login, if your uh, your dialer is active, you will start getting the calls. And, uh, yeah, other options we have now multiple options. We can hang up the call from here. We can go on break. We can transfer the call. We can schedule the call, and we can save the details that we are going to take to the form. And uh, after that, for note purpose, we have notes. We can add the notes, and we want some we want if we want some event or we want to. Call somebody else. In that case, we can do create an event. Event. We have two options. Either we can remind ourselves with a call, or we can remind ourselves with a mail. This is all for the event part. Oh, I think everybody got my point. Right. If All right. Any, yeah, if so, any, uh, you can yeah, pick uh, Okay. One last question I have. You said uh, double nine double nine hash is uh, the password for iBeam by yeah. default. For yeah. all iBeams by default. No, it's not password for the iBeam. iBeam have a different password. This is only for to log in in an agent. Password. Log in, and I mean the, the configuration password, CP account password is different. Yeah. But the one which you said that you know the double nine double nine hash, uh, that is uh, uh, yeah, by that default. Is, for yeah, by default double nine double nine. If you want, we can set up different different for different. Uh, okay, the, by default that is for the. Um, yeah, by default. Slide. Yes, yes. The X slide uh, password is different as SIP password is different. Right, right, right. That I understood. I mean, the configuration is different. Uh, SIP account configuration is different, and this this one is different. What do we call this? Is double nine double nine passcode? Password for the agent console to log in as a in campaign. I in campaign. Okay. 
So, uh, the, and for Zwiper, is there, uh, if it's a different password, was the password for that? Yeah, Zwiper will have a different password. Okay, do you have it handy with you right now? Or we can get it some, some other time? I think we have mailed you all the passwords. Okay, okay, yes, 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 fine. If you have mailed, then obviously I'll have that and I'll, I'll share that with them as well. Okay, I have all the IDs and everything will be, uh, we haven't given them yet because we haven't, have not lined them up yet. Uh, we'll, we'll be lining them, lining them up and then we'll give the respective POCs uh, IDs. Okay. Okay, that's it, uh, Chetan. Thank you so much for your time. And mm -hmm. in case if there is any problem, I'll get back to you. Sure. All right. And agents, I believe you don't have any more questions to ask. Last one, last, one last chance if you have, if you want to ask questions. Okay, fine. No questions. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you, Chetan. Thank you so much. And thank you, team, for your time. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to have a word with you guys. Uh, so, uh, what questions do you think you have? Thank now, anything, anything regarding any, any campaign, uh, any questions, anything, any, anything. Uh, Ch Chitani, you want to say something? I'm saying, can I go or shall I? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, you, you can, you can, yeah. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you for your time once again. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, whoever wants to speak will unmute themselves and then uh, uh, will speak. All of you put your mics on mute, please. Now, how many of you uh, are aware that uh, it's a nice shift? Or who, how many of you are not aware that it was a nice shift? That you walk, they will have to work from 9 p.m. Philippines time to 5 a.m. Philippines time. I'm aware. All of you are aware? Uh, I believe. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I got some of the responses that I got from Mark 1 or Mark 2. They said they dozed off. Uh, which is which is not expected when you are in a training, but when especially when the training is not over, especially when I say the training is again, I will be back in half an hour. This is one thing I know. Uh, see, uh, one important thing which I'd like to tell you all that we have, uh, you know, compared to other campaigns, we are not dialing for nine hours. Okay, we are dialing only for seven hours. Nine hours is eight plus one. There's eight hours of login, one hour of break, which makes you log in for nine hours. But the shift which you have. You know, uh, is, is only seven hours shift. There's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means seven hours means that you have, uh, you will have a 40 to half, you know, 40 minutes or one hour break in between for lunch or tea break or breathers. Now, we will have only seven hours in hand. If you take precisely, we'll have seven hours to make it productive. So it's very important that you log in on time and log out on time. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. And POCs, you must take care of that because end of the day, I when I pull up the records, I, I'll find you know I'll see who are on on uh, uh, you know uh, unscheduled breaks. If you have any, it's not that you'll have to you know uh, if you have any issues, you, you want to take a ten minutes, five minutes breather, understandable, but don't make that a habit because I am logged in when you are here. I am logged in from you know uh, two hours prior to the shift, and I log out two hours after the shift. Try to understand that I'm here for you guys, but if you go missing that way, I not only lose my revenue, I also lose on the minutes that you were dialing. I also have to pay a very you know hefty amount for dialers. All right. Okay, sir. So please understand that. Yeah, please understand that. You know, if 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 you survive, I survive. If I survive, you survive. Okay. Yes. Sir. All right. We all yeah. We all are dependent on each other, so we will we'll have to take care of each other. Also, we also have to take care of the clients. Now, one thing why, why, why I'm saying this is we'll have to take care of the client is because these kind of campaigns, when you're paid on a buffer or you're paid per transfer or you're paid per lead, paid per lead is again, I know, understandable that unless an lead gets converted, you don't get paid. But this is where you transfer the call when you make a valid transfer, when you're asking all the four questions and transferring the call to uh, this risk specialist, your lead is billable. Your lead list becomes billable provided you do not coach the customer. Now, the thing is, uh, here, every sales call, the recording has to be given to the client. 
if i find any kind of coaching on any of the calls i will not give the calls to the uh, to, uh, to the to, to the uh, you know to the client that makes the uh, bill automatically you know non billable invalid if i because there will be a team who will be listening to the calls there will be a team who will be listening to all your transfer calls end of the day then we will go ahead and upload the leads there when we see that you know there is some kind of fishy activity is happening in any of the calls where the customer has been coached that please go ahead and talk to him even if you don't like you say you are interested and you know listen to him and then move out and don't communicate that makes your lead billable but that is not a uh, you know revenue for the client now it is very important that the, the brown team that trained you today you would not believe they have 100% they had a uh, 100% of of uh, conversion rate still 26th 27th tw- you know they had few uh, you know a few calls a uh, few transfers which were rejected uh, on on quality issues where the questions were not asked by a new agent but they are standing somewhere on 98% of approval their approval rate is somewhere on 97 or 98% so it is very important that uh, you maintain an approval rate at the same time you do not coach any of the you know customers i hope you uh, you understand what, what i mean uh, you know when i say coach right yes okay do not coach the customer do not educate the customer to say or to pretend that they are interested just to make to just to make your uh, leads believable because if uh, you know no doubt if you transfer 100 leads you know the, 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 all the leads are believable but if the client does not make money from that they will simply go ahead and say thank you very much bye bye i'm no, more, no longer interested right do you get my point what i'm what i'm trying to say yes yes sir okay if if we don't make productive uh, you know uh, offers hang on a second i believe just down a second <clears throat> okay so we will have to take care of each other also we'll have to take care of the clients do not try to you know hide if you come to know anything that the, you know the customer might not be interested or he just saying for the sake of uh, you know uh, getting transferred or you know uh, don't do that don't don't uh, you know avoid that practice so then the client also makes money you have or you can also build up a good reputation with the client where they would love to work with you you know okay yes sir understood yeah just hang on a second Okay. So, any any questions that you have in regards to anything that you would like to know regarding the process that was not covered, or you think it is not, uh, you know, <clears throat> hello, JD. Done that. Yeah. Hi. I guess I would just like to confirm if do we need or do we have a.